Okay. Hi guys. So, um, her stuff came, and I want to do some, like, I want to say, like, all of this, like, really quick. So, I'm really, really nitpicky about my characters. Um, I have this problem where I write the character, and I do this a lot when I write short stories or whatever, but I write about the character and what they're like or whatever, but I don't give them a name, like, right off the bat. So I sit there and I'm like punching myself in the neck because I haven't given them a name and they need a name. And that's what I've done for her and uh, the boy character. And I don't know why I do this to myself, but I do it all the time. Um, so basically, so ba oh, sorry, I, there's a movie on TV that I haven't been watching until I start recording. Um, so yeah, so, I changed her name again, I changed the character's name, I hate myself for doing this because I just changed my, 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 my I changed my mind, I couldn't think of the word, I changed my mind all the time, I don't get it, but, anyways, ugh. um, so yeah, so at first it was Miela, and because I was still like developing the character, um, because I literally ordered her and started developing the character or whatever, and she got here a, like a week later or whatever, around the 14th. <clears throat> so, yeah. So when she got here, her character still didn't have a name. So she was here for about five days without a name. And I was like, I'm so sorry. So, <clears throat> so yeah, so now, and then I gave her the name Niella because I was still developing her character and I thought, you know, I'll just give her, you know, I want her to be really feminine and really like gentle and sweet and whatever. But then again, and then I started thinking, I'm like, her, her character needs an edge. Like she needs, like she needs to look sweet but have an edge. So I started to think and I was like, Domino, that sounds pretty less feminine, you know? Like, it's, <clears throat> like, <clears throat> it looked like, I don't know, like it just didn't, it didn't, like Domino was almost too masculine, almost. Like, so I, I was looking for something in between, and I think I finally found what I wanted, and so her name is now Lena. <clears throat> and I look at her and I'm like, yeah, Lena works. Yeah. Yeah. I better not be fucking changing my mind right now. I'll cry. I will fucking cry. But anyways, um, okay, so anyways, sorry, um, so yeah, so I changed to Lena. So about her clothes. Everything she's wearing right now is new. She got new leggings, uh, she got this black off-the-shoulder sweater, and this black hat, and it's a bunny, obviously, because she's, she's, a, she's a bunny. So, okay. So, yeah. But she's still missing a pair of leggings, and I've, you know, been waiting for them. So I think I'm going to finally just contact the, um, <clears throat> the owner of the store that I bought it from, or whatever, the web store. But she also got this, uh, this white office, off-the-shoulder sweater, but this one has, like, a little ruffle right here, and the other one doesn't. Um, so yeah. Um, now, I just wanted to, like, address this really quick. Um, this... I love her to death, like, I think the sculpt is absolutely adorable, and I wouldn't trade it for anybody, for any, like, any other, um, although I do have, I have seen, like, other dolls that I, like, other girl dolls that I really, really like, but I'm just, I'm not, like, that's when I, like, when I go out, like, window shopping, whatever, on my computer, Google, whatever, not necessarily Google, but, um, <clears throat> When I'm like window shopping, I don't necessarily look for girls because I already have the 40 centimeter girl that I want. Um, and I'm not necessarily looking for um, an SD sized girl or boy yet. Um, I'm still deciding whether or not I want one. Um, so I just, I really like the size, and I heard that the SD sizes get really heavy if you're carrying them around. Um, 
So yeah, um, but I just wanted to address some things about this body. Now she is an only doll Rue Dye. That's her sculpt name um, with default face up. <clears throat> so far at least. Um, I'm still like working on like getting her modded. Um, so yeah, um, modded as in like piercings and tattoos and stuff and such. Um, so yeah, so I wanted to address pros and cons to this body. Um, so the arms are single jointed and they only go so far. Um, they don't necessarily go up to her face all the way and yeah. Um, and they don't necessarily stay. See, they flip or whatever. I do have to say I like these hands and her wrists because they're the one I usually can get it. It's really cool. But you it's basically the um the one touch system where you, you pull out this hook. Hold on, it's it's like stuck on the wrist part. I can do it on this hand, I think. I can't seem to get her hands to work right now, but um, but yeah, basically you pull, you hold this fro floating piece right here. See how her hand is in like two pieces? You hold the floating piece and you pull up this hand and then you can take it off and put another one on there. But it has to be the one, it has to be like another hand with the floating wrist piece. So, or else, you know, it's going to be kind of weird. Um, or maybe not, because you could... Well, I mean, I guess you could uh, hook on, you know, uh, take off the floating piece and hook on another hand or whatever. Um, also, so yeah. So, I do like her hands uh, because of the one-touch system. It's I heard it's like a lot like the Volks or whatever. Um... Her head, you know, it's just the, the normal, you know, head cap with two magnets. Um, she's got an S hook and 14, no, 16 millimeter eyes. Um, so, yeah. But one thing I don't like, like, I like her knees. Um, you, that's like the first part or whatever. This one's not bending very well, whatever. Um, and then she also has this piece. So, it can go up like that. Um, so, it actually locks right here. Hold on. So if you heard that, that was her, her leg walking. So yeah, um, her feet also have that one touch system. I assume I haven't really tried her feet. Yeah, it has that one touch system. Um, um, feet movement joint, uh, pretty well. Um, one thing I do not like about her legs though is that they only go up this far and I wanted like for posing wise I wanted her legs to be able to pull up next to her body so she could wrap her arm around it. like yeah um so yeah and um one thing about her character is uh like me she the she's pigeon toed so um and I was glad to find out that the only way I can actually get her to stand without just like that is if she's pigeon toed. Now sometimes I have to actually like drastically like I have to drastic drastically do it like that, but not all the time. So but yeah, all in all, aesthetically it's really pretty. Um I love like her collarbone area sorry uh I don't know if you can focus change the lighting or maybe not I don't know I don't know I'm trying to give it like shadow I don't know I can't sh exactly show you but she has like a really pretty collarbone and her back is like sorry I'm spacing out okay so yeah 
But I believe it. How'd you know I was here? I got here first and I called you in. Why'd you come here? Fuck you up. I followed him all last night. I, I, I can hear you. Did you what? Oh, Phil, you, you didn't. Mm, no, 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 no. Of course I, I didn't. But yeah, so um, another thing she was holding this book earlier. I actually made this with like duct tape. This is paper with duct tape on top of it and then I also like this is three parts. Sorry. This is three parts. This is one. The spine is two and then this is three and then I sewed in pieces of paper like sketch paper so it's like her sketchbook. Yeah. And it's pink. I want to get different duct tape though because I don't really like because I was trying to make her duct tape shoes because she's had any shoes. So And also, duct tape shoes are cute. I have one because I, I made one and I was like, oh, it's so cute. I'm going to wear it all the time because I'm going to make another one. And I got lazy and I never made the other one. So, so yeah, so now she literally has like one duct tape shoe just like me. Hold on. I'll go get it. It's actually just right here because I was working on it the other day. Damn it. We'll never trust each other again. I trust you. I shouldn't. Mm. I've been lying to you ever since we met. Okay. Um, so yeah. Uh, and the only thing left that I want to change on her is probably... Well, I definitely wanted uh, to get her modded piercings and tattoo-wise. Um, Um, like, I, I kind of want to get her, um, an anchor on her shoulder, like, you know, a little tattoo anchor. It's okay. Um, um, I'm still deciding whether or not I want her ears gauged. Um, I definitely want her septum pierced, though, and maybe her bridge, but I don't know, for her sculpts, I don't know. Um, so... So yeah, I don't know, but um, but for her, for her um, collarbone or whatever, what's the sophisticated name for it? I can't remember. It's um, God, I can't remember. It. So for her collarbone, I kind of want to get her surface piercings or hip piercings, like on her hip, like like right there or something. Um, but yeah, but I want to get a, like her a anchor tattoo on her arm and like like silhouette of uh, birds on her back. Um, and then I want her septum pierced and possibly her bridge. Um, and I don't think her lips are like the right shape for lip piercings. So yeah, um, and I probably want her ears gauged. And I want her to have blue eyes, and right now she has black eyes. And I probably am going to send her head off to get a new face up later. Like, way, way, way later. Because I, I'm, I'm fine with her face up now. And when I get, like, a good amount of cash flow coming in, when I get a job, which is going to take me forever. Um... So, yeah. This is really long. I'm so sorry. People probably hate me because I, like, I babble all the time. All right, well, so this is Lena, and, oh, and I, I re renamed Lucian, um, too, uh, because it was a little too harsh, because he's supposed to have a sensitive side, and, but this, like, rugged outside, um, and Lucian was just too rough, so I renamed him Emery. So, yeah. I'm sorry about the movie in the background. And it's really annoying. But, alright. Well, thank you for watching. And I'm really tired. And, good night.